Uh, hello and welcome to Nerdy Gaming with a Rabid Beaver. I'm your host, the Nerdy Gaming Rabid Beaver today, a Rabid Beaver here. And uh, we're going to be going back over some story mode in Red Dead Redemption 2. I can't remember where we left off, but I know that this is episode 3 of the series and we're going to be getting directly into it and just having some fun. As you saw, I had it on the live screen there. I wasn't prepared for that, but here we go. Let's just get right into it and let's have some fun, guys. We're going to play for maybe a little bit over an hour, maybe right around in the hour mark, somewhere around in there. Uh, and we're just going to be getting getting going. Hope you guys are doing wonderful out there in the world of gaming. Uh, hope everybody is having fun. Everybody is doing some good things today on Twitch or wherever you guys are following me at, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube or if you guys are catching this on uh, Daily Motion or wherever you guys are at. I hope you guys are having a great and wonderful day today because we are definitely uh, having a wonderful day over here, guys. Trying to get this out of the uh, the mirror, out of the picture here, but it just seems to be going in the wrong direction today. So we're going to leave it right there. All right, so now I've got new workplaces and new outfits and stuff. Uh, I don't know what outfit I can change to. Let's see. Ooh, got the high class. Don't have any of that. Don't have any of that. No, that, no, that, no, that, no, 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 no. So just the first two, basically. That's what I've got. We'll just leave it in his, uh, his bounty hunting gear for now. Yeah, I don't have anything in the chest. Scoot you over here just a little bit. You might see my puppies here in a minute. They might come to me. Okay, I got some repeater ammo there. Look at my map and find out what are the uh, things on my map here. Got a W. I don't know what that is. Nigel West Dickens. The train is over here somewhere. There's something. Water and honesty. I have to find that. What's going on there? It's like the Great Plains are pretty good. So I'm still fairly new in the beginning of this game. Hey guys, how are y'all doing? Hope you're doing good today. I uh, don't have anything going on down there. Western Border States 1910. Tall trees and great plains. Uh, Dex is doing pretty good. All right, I guess we'll just head out to the W, find out what's going on in the W. I'm in Hannigan's stead over here by Pike's Basin. We'll find old Nigel. Yeah. Can't remember if he's a day mission or not, though. That's the thing. Ride him up, cowboy. Oh, missed my turn. Like I know how to read a map or something. Like I'm, like I was only in transportation or something for years. Okay, there's some stuff over there, but we're gonna ignore that. What's up, guys? How are y'all doing today? Hope you guys are doing good out there in the world of Twitch, wherever you guys are following this up. This is episode three here of uh, my Red Dead Redemption uh, videos. We're still fairly new into the story mode here. Just going back and having fun and playing some, uh, playing some Red Dead. Why do I have headphones on it? Good question. It's because I've got my capture card in, and the only way that I can hear the volume from the TV is through the capture card directly, so it's going directly through. Good question, though. down there. Yep, 
Give me some coon. I can't shoot the pheasant. This is dirty. I'm about to hang his buddy and he ain't done nothing wrong, he says. Come on. Someone don't like me much. I probably shot it through the trees and didn't mean to. Excuse me, partner. I ain't getting fresh. Still saying there's one back here somewhere. I mean, it's just the law of the West, you know? Makes people die. Ain't gonna use that stuff no more. Come here there, Zeke. Where'd you go, Zeke? It's my horse Klepto. We call him Zeke for short. I wonder if that mission comes back, like while you're riding along this trail, if it comes back at some point in time, or if it's only a, a one-time mission to save the guy. See, that's that's the thing is I, I don't remember because it's been so long since I played this that I'm trying to figure it out as I go. Well, how can you forget about a classic game like this? Well, I literally sold it and put it away Maybe, I mean, I was so young, I played maybe through the first four chapters and was like, this is boring. I got to the snake oil salesman, and uh, that was the last last one I remember. Man, I mean, if you're gonna skin it, you might as well take it all. They you killed stink. it, so. Lie still. <laughs> Lie still, he said. It's dead. It's not going nowhere. Nice little bad joke there. Couldn't get away with making that today. All the animal cruelty and stuff. This would not go over well. Don't watch it there, Zeke. We 
become an herbalist here. Let's start that journey. You little beauty. Got some good stuff here. We're already starting off right. That's a wildflower. Oh, it died. It did die. I knew it did. I just didn't put it up on the map. Tough one, ain't you? Come on. Get back on the trail. Sir, you need help? Mister, you alive? Fuck, oh, fuck, god damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? Not at all. You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. Oh. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh. 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 Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? Yeah. Just sit up straight, homie. Ah, thank you, Abrar. To Armadillo. Godspeed. I actually have one, believe it or not. I have a little um 500. I have, actually have an Abrar 500. What is your name? It's friend? black with red trimming, Your red seats. Oh, good God. It's a five-speed. It's an American. It's a, it's a multi-air. Excuse me. How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. The Bollard Twins. Walton's gang. I know who you are. Word sure travels fast around here. I'm a man with many connections. Spare my life. I beg of you. They're back. I'm done for. Trying to. I embrace you. 
Christ's sakes, man, you're gonna be fine. Take We're nearly me there. Into your arms. We're here. Stay with me. Oh, oh, where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but... R.H., thanks, something. man, for coming I in. Appreciate you, you for a subscription. I always pay my debts. That's so nice of you to do that. Uh, Jesus, but if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up. Roberto first. Rodriguez, two of you guys. Thank you guys so much for coming in and being a part of this. So that's three of you today. I appreciate that. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys and girls are doing good out there in the world of gaming. I'm trying to do great myself. So I remember doing this and then helping him for one other mission. And then I quit. I was like, that's it. This game is over with for me. I mean, I know I can sell stuff. The question is, what can I sell? It's closed currently. Of course it is. It's excellent to see you today. Hey, mister. I got stock of them electric belts if you need to lose weight. Any meds, laudanum, adrenaline, or pills, come see me. We're just going to create some money here. We can use some raccoon fur. I'm going to save the meat for myself. I hope that helps. I'll be back with more next time I pass through. Well, hopefully. Back it up, Sheriff. You don't want none of this. I remember they used to have the uh, the old lady of uh, the night down there who was getting stabbed to death. Y'all remember that? Let's save it, because I already did some missions. I mean, I remember some of this. I don't remember all of it. Let's go see what's up with the marshal, see if he needs some help with some stuff. We'll come back for the old stagecoach here in a little bit. The old stink old salesman's doing good. It looks like we got a question mark here as well. I know if you pass certain missions and certain question marks, you don't get to do them again. Ah! Since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One Come of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway. We got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's going to be a bloody job. Huh. It's going to be a bloody job, he says. It's going to be a darn bloody job. <clears throat> hey, what drink it there, Elmer Fudd. <clears throat> Alright, 
let's go. Stay together. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the east. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. <laughs> if only it could cure him of the diarrhea of the mouth. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. And people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. A more flannel-mouthed bunko artist I've never met. Might just be a dead critter. Parson, take a look. Eli, you too. Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Crazy man. The most dangerous kind. Some men are just bored playing evil. I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're born. At least that's how I see it. Hey, baby. Any number of people. Especially now the word's out, we're cleaning up. Come here. Come here. This is Dolly, and this is Oreo. How you doing, my puppies? Do my puppies? Yeah, y'all doing good, ain't you? So Dolly is in need of a rehome. We're gonna be rehoming Dolly pretty soon. Um, we kind of are kind of on a deadline. My wife is allergic to her, so we're trying to get them get them rehome pretty quick. So they're they're about one years old. They're, they're really about ten months old. Is really how old they are. And um, Dolly sheds real bad, and my wife is allergic to her. Her shedding. She's a hound and beagle mix, and she's very pretty. Between Walton's boys she's and very Rockford, sweet. We've been spilling a lot she's of blood. got a lot of issues, though. I can see more up she has a lot of anxiety we issues. Take a look, boys. She was, um, well, they both were. They both were left outside to die. They weren't being fed whenever we found them uh, at our neighbor's house behind us, believe it or not. They were just hey, in a field. More dead body. Fire still smoke. And he had no the idea. Must still be around. Come on. They had no human contact. They were just wild. And now they're somewhat housebroken, you know? Not all the way. I wouldn't say all the way housebroken. They on, will go outside on a leash. A they will pee outside. Um, but Dolly has issues where she will yeah, only pee like a little that. bit and then come inside. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean? Place looks deserted. Where is everyone? Let's search the area. Nobody's in the shed. Come on. This is the one where they introduced the Gatlin gun. That ain't right. No one would board up a barn like this. Break that door down. The rest of you, get your guns ready.
Oh, yeah. Got them too, huh? Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> Boys, we need to get into that house right now. He wants in here when we're here. Might as well. All right, hurry up, Arston. Upstairs on me. Ain't you a pretty little thing? I'm gonna enjoy. There's a deputy waiting for you in the shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear.
gonna have ourselves fun. You're gonna be all right. Head for the shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. Thank you. I was convinced I was dead. Come on, be done with it. Gotta get him. I think you'll be needing this. Pretty little thing. I'm gonna enjoy. Damn you. There's a deputy waiting for you in the shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear.
Take a break for the shed when the coast is clear. There'll be a deputy waiting for you. Thank you. They said they were gonna kill us all. Who do you think you are? It's not going to let me in. I'm going to have to go all the way around to the front, aren't I? It's okay. Let's see what you got. Yes, I am taking the money. They invited me on this mission for a reason. I'm getting it, baby. because I was, did this like three or four times and it uh, wasn't going to let me kill him from the front for some reason so I had to go around hey, back and I wasn't really thing. wanting to. I'm going to enjoy this! As soon as you can, make a run for the shed. Keep your head down. Oh, thank God! Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. Get my money first and collect all my junk first, homie. I am not a smart man, but I do know what looting is. I'm gonna let me loot that one. This one, nope. Oh, yeah, maybe a little bit. in the bathroom apparently. of that bunch gets fifty dollars it ain't about the money marshal these are people's lives people's homes <laughs> let's go get on your horse boy all right let's find those men i'm right here right now let's go Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. 
What the hell are you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of uh, knowing want him dead. You know Why is that him all year? We used to run in a gang together. He was once like family. If this hey is guys, how are y'all doing? We're just doing some Red Dead Redemption 1 here. We're having some fun today. That was a lifetime ago. And bear in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. I'm about bigger and we've moved past the family part. Eyes up! You see that? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now! Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! We'll make our stand here. Stay in cover and watch your head. That's too damn slow! you was getting into. Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> There's something that you're still breathing. <laughs> Come here, <on>, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Give. <laughs> oh. Norman Deke. <laughs> Old Norman Deke. Fuck. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. <laughs> Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get... Hey, guys, I'm going to take a quick break here, and we will be back here in just a minute, please.
All right, guys, we are back. Give me just a second to switch back to the live scene here. Had to get me some Dr. Pepper. Today's episode is brought to you by Dr. Pepper. No, we are not sponsored, but it's what I'm drinking. So Merry Christmas to you guys on Dr. Pepper. Appreciate you guys for coming out and being with the party today and uh, having my baby buy me some Dr. Pepper to drink. So that's what's up there. All right, let's resume here. Oh, yeah, we're going in the body hunt. We're going to get some monies before we do any of this crap. Why he, uh, sit everybody and their mama down here for no reason, I'll never know. But here we are. Blood just randomly stuck in the air. That's pretty cool. Next to a jackrabbit. See where it was, it got me though. If we can get that before the uh, little train comes through. Give me another snake skin here. Hey, look at this. Doing pretty good today. Let's find the closest town to me. Fort Mercer's up on the hill, it looks like. The train's back behind me. Armadillo's back behind me. I, mean, I think that's the closest town to me. I mean, Rio Bravo, but I don't know if that's a town. It doesn't look like it's got anything there. We'll try it. We'll see if we can get to the Rio here. Come on. So I don't know if there's a town here in Rio Bravo. That's the that's the thing that's Ooh, my girls are getting angry at whatever is outside. They do not like it. Come on, easy up now. 
hear him whining in the background. Get us some deer. Hey guys, how are y'all doing? Hope y'all are doing good out there wherever you guys are viewing at. I can't remember if the Rio Bravo had an actual town in it or not. So that's kind of my dilemma right now. My horse just ran away. So we're on our way to see if it does. If it does have a little town in it, we're going to pay our little fines and stuff and get on with it. Excuse me, mister. That's yeah. Fort Mercer. <laughs> right in the middle of the Rio Bravo is Fort Mercer. Let's go see what this blue is. Yeah. They were shooting at me. How do I know who's good and who's bad? to armadillo let's get to our little place up there and we'll save it and then we'll be done with this chapter for the day Come on. i think that's all the time we're gonna have is actually just to get right back there Come on, girls i'll take you out as soon as i get back and save okay stay with me I'm right here i love you very much come here show everybody come here what are you running to This is Oreo, she's black and white, with a little brown on her face. And this is Dolly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So good puppies, they just good loving, good loving, hugging puppies. Yeah, they are. All right, good babies. Good babies, give me just a second to get to a place to save. Uh-oh. I lost my sound here. Might be because I was on the wrong. Hey. The wrong track here. Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? Hope you're doing good. We are doing good. We are trying to get to Armadillo to Armadillo to save oh. the game today. to have the horse commit suicide. Let's go. He said no. Good girls. They are laying down at my feet. They need to go outside. It's time for them to go P-O-T-T-Y is what it is. You can all go to hell.
To the victor, the sport. Get off the horse. Let's go. I'm cutting it close, man. I gotta get there within three minutes. I'm going to be cutting it really close getting here to save and stop for the yeah. evening. See, I know some of these side missions only pop up once, but there's others that pop up all the time, like uh, the woman of ill repute in Arm Armadillo down here. She pops up quite a bit. Real close. Got about a minute. Alright, I think that's going to end it for tonight, guys. Uh, I'm not going to make it in time to Armadillo, no! Go. But it's going to be okay. We're going to make it work just right. I'm outside of it. I just can't find the darn thing. made it okay let's get inside and save this bad boy and then we will be on our way so i'm gonna be cutting it right at the hour mark i'm gonna not be able to put this on uh uh twitch now dad gummit that's that's uh or tw tiktok but it's gonna be okay we gonna be i right. let's save it And thank you guys for coming in and being here with Nerdy Gaming with the Rabbit Beaver today. We've just done a little bit here with Red Dead Redemption. We're going to be getting some more stuff uh, pretty soon done with it. I'm going to save this game and we're going to be done with it. But thank you guys for coming in so much. I'll see you on the next episode of Red Dead Redemption, episode four. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.